Hey, travelers. Back again for another week of vlogging. Ah, that's what this is. Better than flogging. <laughs> a, week, I, a weekly vlogging, <laughs> not, not the flogging. Uh, I grew up on a farm in the Midwest. I've already been flogged enough. Yes. Uh, <laughs> that's how the Midwestern farmers get work done. That's right. Uh, a lot of flogging. So new this week, uh, we just announced yesterday, um, or whenever you're watching this, it won't, it won't be yesterday, but uh, we have the latest Taproom Travelers beer bus. No, always a good time. Always a good time. This this time our theme is we actually have a real theme uh, around the world. So uh, we're gonna go to Udapils. Udapils, nice yeah. German brewery. German brewery. Oh yeah. And uh, Boom Island, nice Belgian brewery. Yes. Uh, Ladonia Cerveceria. I'm glad you're the one that says that because I don't think I could say that. My life <laughs> depended on it, but a nice Mexican or Mexican or, or south uh, of the border. Latin. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Brewery. And then, uh, of course, uh, the the last one slipping my mind, the Irish one, Finnegan's. Finnegan's. There you go. Next, next to your favorite hotel. Ah, my favorite hotel <laughs> is right next to Finnegan's. Guys. Yes, it is. The the best Western Normandy. The best Western Normandy. <laughs> if you yes. want a real fun experience, no, I'm not even kidding when I say this. That hotel is uniquely weird in all the best kind of ways. And for being downtown, it's got a nice parking lot. Which downtown Minneapolis yeah, has a good great luck finding lot. a parking lot, and it's the second most affordable downtown. And it's cl yeah. it's clean by all means. It's clean. Yeah, it's just the architecture of the place, the interior design is super bizarre, <laughs> and it makes me so happy every time I'm there. I they have a nice sauna, they have nice pools. So I just find yeah. myself in the sauna, just enjoying the the bizarreness. I feel like a Wes Anderson movie should be shot in that place. It is. It is. So maybe sometime we'll take a trip over there and we'll stay at the Normandy, but oh. we're, we're not doing that this maybe time. Maybe they'll sponsor us. Yeah, maybe they'll sponsor yeah. us. Uh, we're not we're not doing that this time. This time we're actually just going to take the bus over and then come straight back. Um, but the great thing is, if you have your hot passport from Minnesota, Finnegan's is in there. Yeah. So you can get a two for one at Finnegan's. No, yeah, and, and then support a charity on top of it. Yeah, Finnegan's is Finnegan's a cool is... brewery. I mean, they're uh, all their proceeds to go to helping local food pantries. Yeah. And, they have a reverse food truck that goes and gets food from places that have too much and take it to people who don't have enough. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So Finnegan's is cool. Uh, I mean, Boom Island, great. But I mean, they're all, that's the fun part about Europe. You know, Europe gets hyper specific on their regional styles. In the United States, we just make everything. So it's fun to go to a brewery that specializes in, you know, one or two different things. Yeah. 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 And we're going to go to Boom Island early because the last time we <laughs> went to Boom Island, we, well, we went. I, th I think it was number. Bring some water, folks. I think, I think it was number four <laughs> on the list. Four or five. And uh, five is too many. And that was the that was the that was the stopping point that, for that, everybody. And we still had another stop left. That's the silver bolt. That, that was. <laughs> that was pretty that's much the downfall put you of everybody. Down. <laughs> that was that was when Mike from Pitchfork started reintroducing himself to everybody. <laughs> 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 Which Mike from Pitchfork? I guess you'll have to figure that one out on your own. Yeah, there's two of them. There's two of them. The Mike show over there. There used to be three. Yeah, right? Yeah, my, yeah. Brain, my brain just internally yeah. explodes. Crazy. Uh, so today, so all of that news, um, so you can check out all of our uh, social media channels. And don't find, drink without your passport. Yeah, don't drink without your passport. That's that's this shirt, hot passport. Oh, I, I didn't so. actually notice that. Yeah, yeah. That is a, that is a, that's very, a nice shirt. That's a nice fitting shirt. Thanks to Matt you, at Hot Passport. You wear that yes. shirt with class. Thank you. Mm. Appreciate that. Uh, so yeah, check all that stuff out. You can find tickets at uh, taproomtravelers.com slash beer run. And then we'll, we'll put a link down below for you. That way you can, if you're in the Eau Claire area or anywhere between Eau Claire and Hudson, we'll pick you up and you can oh, get yeah. on the bus. It's always a good time. The one I'm really excited <clears throat> about is the one I can't pronounce. Yeah, Ladonia. Ladonia. Yeah. What's the rest of it? Cerveceria. Oh, God. I'm terrible at languages, <laughs> um, and it's not. A, I'm not trying to be mean. I just I'm yeah. terrible at languages. No, I I know. I yeah, can I, attest. I, I barely speak English. <laughs> it's true. Um, no, but the cool part about that is because uh, Mexico has a or Central America, South America, Latin America has a has a rich history of German immigrants going over there, much like a lot of other places in the world, and starting breweries. But yet, the, I'd say that's like kind of become the home of the Vienna Lager. You know, Vienna yeah. Lagers really took off in that area. Yeah. And it's kind of a kind of a unique, you know, they have a little bit of different hops. Sometimes they're a bit more spice to them or whatnot. So it's kind of a unique uh, cross cultural blend that you don't really see because, like, once again, America, we just make everything. So I'd say that's kind of the one of the few areas in in this hemisphere that still kind of has a regional yeah. flavor. Yeah. You know? And so. it's not, and it's not one of those that you would see. It's not. I, I mean, I I don't know of any other Mexican brewery. 
No, I, mean, yeah. that, I mean, that's it. Especially up north here. Yeah. The, <laughs> the best we can do around here is, you know, Dosa Key or, yeah. you know. Corona. Corona. Modelo. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Modelo Especial. <laughs> <laughs> so, Listen, uh, you put the little flare on there. Yes. I can't do anything. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah. Check out all those, and, and we hope that you'll join us on the next bus. Uh, today, we decided to, to have some beers that are pastry beers. Oh. Uh, thank you to Candice at Coffee Grounds again. For supplying these beers, yeah, the pastry. Uh, I mean, we paid for them, but she got them there. Yeah, so. I mean, she does a good job at curating her her yes. beer lineup and yes. kind of getting the hard to come find by beers. And she carries stuff that no one else really wants to deal with. Mm -hmm. You know, these like one offs, and she just does a really good job at her job. So yes, she does. Tip to the head of anyone who's good at what they. You do. You know what I think I'm going to do though? I think I'm going to switch the lineup. Oh, so I remember that this is an IPA. I, I constantly forget that it's an IPA. Yeah, I mean, um, we should probably quick just cover what a pastry beer is. Yeah, uh, it go kinda, right ahead. It started, I would say, the first pastry beer that I was truly aware of would have probably been um, the creme brulee from Southern Tier, the yeah. creme brulee stout, and it kind of yep. kicked off, you know, because milk stouts, chocolate stouts have always kind of been a thing, and then all of a sudden people started making them taste like dessert. And hence the pastry stout term comes into place here. And there's a few breweries that were ahead of their time in the pastry stout category. I remember Shiner had a birthday cake beer like five years ago. That was yep. pretty solid. Yep. Uh, there used to be that horny goat in Wisconsin that made the brownie mm -hmm. ale of some sort. Yep. That was also pretty solid. But it wasn't really until, I'd say, within the last couple of years here that the pastry stouts have really taken off. And it's kind of become a, a staple pastry stout and like hazy IPAs. You know, they're kind of evolving. You know, a stouts and IPAs evolve. They're kind of evolving together. So... It's an interesting fad we're in, you know, and it's making some really delicious beers. And I think that's also doing a good job at bringing in beer drinkers that normally wouldn't drink beer. Like your wife right. is not a big beer right. drinker, but I think she's she's really embraced the uh, pastry stout, the pastry stout, more so the, than any other person I've met. Yes, <laughs> the uh, the peanut butter porters and stouts, and basically anything chocolate with peanut butter, chocolate, and any, anything with chocolate or peanut butter. And then she's got a whole other side to her where she likes the sours and yeah. The not beer tasting beers. Yeah, the not beer tasting beers. Yeah, which, but you know, it's cool that. Yeah, it's 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 great because I, I can't tell you um, how many times that that I've worked down at the Lazy Monk where you know I get people asking, "What do you have that doesn't taste like beer?" Yeah, <laughs> you know, and it's and it's a nice beer to come up with, and you know that's kind of the cool part about beer is that there's a there's a flavor for everyone. Yeah. Whenever somebody says yeah. I don't like beer, I just go, <laughs> "I'll find you something." You just haven't found the right category, <laughs> yeah. son. <laughs> gotta throw that. Gotta be kind of. And yet, when you and do yet, it. there's and yet there's people where you could pour them something as long as you don't tell them that it's a beer. Uh, my mom's that one of those folks. Then they'll drink it. <laughs> otherwise, mom. otherwise, if you go, oh, well, that's a beer. Oh, I knew I didn't like this. I remember one time I was sampling my mom on a bunch of beers trying to find her, and the one that she actually drank a couple beers of was a a, a smoked beer. Really? I was like, <laughs> <laughs> of what? all beers, of all these beers, mom, <laughs> the smoked one. She's like, yeah, this one tastes pretty good. I'm like, hmm. okay. <laughs> So never keep trying, folks. <laughs> That's right. Keep trying. Uh, so the first one that we're going to have is from Decadent, and it's it's a pecan pie. But okay. it but here's the thing. It's a double IPA with pecans and maple syrup. So this is going to be the weirdest one of the day. Right. I'm, I'm going to just go ahead and predict that. And and my wife bought this one, and, and I told her, you do realize that that's a double IPA, right? And she said, nope, I didn't see that. And I said, well, then we're going to put that on the vlog. It is weirdly clear. It is. It has got the color of an so IPA. So far, this beer, if I were just, someone were to pour this beer to me, I have a feeling my expectations would not meet my, uh, well, the reality of the beer. It's it's almost like a, it's got a suspension, or those floaties in there. I don't know what that is, man. It's hard to tell. <laughs> it almost looks suspended in a way, but maybe not. No, oh, yeah. Yeah, and get a handful of bubbles, but a lot of just it, it has the nose of a double IPA. Yeah, it has a smidgen of sweetness on the nose. Yeah. Wow. That's actually really good. That it maple. Is, that, that maple, maple I've, I don't know that I've ever had maple syrup in a double IPA before, but that's actually pretty good. I've never got to say this about a beer, but that maple's popping. Yeah, it's yeah. popping. Popping. Maybe that's what's floating around in there. I don't know. I mean that that uh, if anything that uh, it, it's a, a actually relatively balanced beer. The sugar from the maple is balancing nicely with the hops <clears throat> to make a very drinkable balanced beer. Yeah, you know because you know, we talk about balanced beers and like sure. Vienna lagers and all these beers. Yeah. Old school beers are are known for their balance, but 
it's fun when people can make a balanced beer out of weird shit. Yeah. Like like maple and like maple and pecans. Pecan. Pecans. I although I don't taste the pecan any. I don't know if pecans have a ton of flavor to begin with. They don't. They're nutty. Yeah. Imagine yeah. that a nut tastes like a nut. Yeah. 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 Schnauz, I, I'm schnauz, uh, I'm very pleasantly surprised by that one. Mm. I could easily drink a four pack of this. I'm assuming they come in four packs. I don't know. I bought this. We, we bought this individually. Where is Decadent even from? I'm not familiar with Decadent as much. You know, that's uh, Dorchester Brewing Company. Brewed and canned by Dorchester, Boston, Massachusetts. Wow, those Boston folks. How about that? My sister-in-law lives in Boston. I'll have to ask her oh, about those, her opinion on Decadent. It's crazy Bostonians. <laughs> they got Sam Adams and they got <clears throat> Decadent. That's right. All right. So the next one, uh, this one's actually just called Bakery. No, oh. from the brewery. I always like to call it the Browery. Yeah, remember Browery? J- Jake Leinenkugel, or was that Jake? Who pronounces brewery just amazing? It's, it's uh, Dick Leinenkugel. Dick. Yeah. I wish I could say it that way. Yes. For this. Yes, the brewery. Uh, so this is coconut macaroons. It's an imperial stout aged in bourbon barrels with coconut and natural vanilla. <sighs> That's a lot. Well, first of all, you had me at coconut. Yeah. Then you had me again at bourbon barrel. Yeah, I didn't realize so, that this was a bourbon barrel aged one, but. Uh, I'm, I'm actually. I'm much happier now that it is. <laughs> Imagine that, Landon. <laughs> you. Guys. I know Jake's not here, but right now Jake's at home crying. He'll survive. He'll he'll be all right. There's more cans of this. Probably better save some of that for when my wife gets home. Yeah. Well, there's a lot going on in that nose. Oh wow! Sweet booze, sweet bourbon. That's about all I get. Sweet, I get a, bo- I sweet get a, booze. I get a little vanilla in there. Yeah. Wow, that's a lot to unpack. I don't know if we have enough time. It's pretty sweet. You could probably just skip it's, this one for now. Yeah. I can't even... No, I'm just kidding. It's pretty. It's <laughs> very, very sweet. Yeah, we're, we kind of lost the balance, like I said, in that first yeah. one, where this one was just an uppercut of sugar almost. That's a lot of sugar. Yeah. Um, And booze. Well, oh, that's going to make me a diabetic. Yeah. Uh, it's really good, I don't though. really, I don't really get a ton of vanilla. Mm-mm. I, don't, I know. don't know. Maybe, maybe they the sweet is supposed to be the macaroon because uh, I mean macaroons are sweet. I don't know if I get a ton of coconut for some a, a little, a little bit. I don't have a hundred. If you let it sit, what is for a, a macaroon? While. You know those French pastries, the the round. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. <clears throat> they always come in like a weird tower. I don't, I don't know that I've was, ever seen them in a tower. It was like combine them into like a stack. Sure. Or at least that's what they do on Chopped. Oh. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I know what a macaroon is. It took me a minute. Okay, good. I don't think I've ever eaten a macaroon, so no, I can't. They're, they're, I mean, they're delicious, but. Yeah. I don't know that. I think I this one would probably do a bit well with a little bit of age. I'm a, I have a feeling that bourbon would kind of calm down just a little bit. Yeah. Some and maybe other. maybe some of the sweetness would settle out of it, but yeah, it might, it, this might need some more time to to percolate in the can. Good though. I mean, it's not. It is a delicious beer. It's probably not one of those that you're going to have more than one of. I, I mean, I think a uh, dessert beer for yes. sure. This yeah. is definitely yeah. your sh- dessert of the evening. Where you'd have a dessert wine, this would be a dessert beer. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. Well, I, I would I would say uh, try it and see what you think. You yeah, there's always, a, there's com- a, comment below if you can find the, that. The fun part about this beer is that there's a lot there is a lot in there in the morning. Yeah. And I'm sure if we sat here and fussed over it for an, I want to warm up a little bit even more than what it is, it'd probably keep unfolding. So sure. If you want to fuss over a beer for an hour, this is the beer to do it with. Well, you know. Sometimes you know, I like doing that. I mean, if you actually go to the brewery itself and, and out of California, uh, you I think fuss, you should yeah, say. You the brewery the brewery does a it. lot of crazy good stuff too. They do. They do. Uh, speaking of another one that does a lot of great stuff, Untitled Art. Oh, yeah. So this is a, a chocolate scotch ale. Not, I mean, not a lot going on as far as like ingredients or what they're telling us. No, scotch ale. I don't think I've ever had a chocolate scotch ale before. I don't know. Scotch ales is a style that is a, it's a relatively popular style. You got your old chubs out there and beers like that. Yeah. yeah. But I don't think I've ever seen a lot of people experimenting with the scotch ale. No, I mean that's usually you do, it's just a scotch. Yeah. Bad worth bourbon barrel aged. Right, you don't often right. see adjuncts put into it. Not a lot of. It's, it's it looks like a scotch ale. It does. Got that nice coppery color. Yeah, yeah. I mean, scotch ale is already naturally a a, a, a a sweet beer. Let's see this guy one more time. 
I got I got sweet on the nose, but I couldn't tell if that was from the the pecan before or not. Um, it's not it's not overly sweet. Mm-mm. It's got a nice little chocolate. Got a nice little chocolate backbone to an otherwise very well made Scotch ale. Yeah. So it's a Scotch ale first, I would say. Yep. With a little chocolate. With a little backbone. bit of chocolate. Yeah. Yeah. Good beer. This one is uh, probably more uh, sessionable. Yes. Than the breweries. One. Yes. The uh, the bakery. Bakery. the bakery is <clears throat> not what I would call a sessionable beer. Tasty. I don't like yeah. it. Yeah. No. That's that's a great beer. Untitled Art. Thanks, Untitled Art. Yeah. Fun little brewery. Yeah. A Wanakee, Wisconsin. Ah, one of those great Wisconsin. Where's that, you ask? I have no idea. <laughs> There's a lot of Wisconsin names that when you see. You, know, you, got, you got everything from I uh, got, I've got Kickapoo. No, I've only been here. Sheboygan. I've only been here for 12 years, and and uh, I wasn't east of uh, of Chippewa until last year. So To be fair, I've logged probably about 20 years, 25 years. Yeah. Nothing. As soon as you go like east of Wausau, <laughs> yeah, you might as well uh, not exist. I hadn't been to Wausau until last year, so <laughs> so there's that. At Wausau. Yeah. <laughs> I just drove through. I have no idea. Ironically, I've been to 180 breweries, 180 some. Yeah, the 100th brewery was one at Wausau, and the 150th brewery was both in Wausau. Not on choice; it's just the way it worked out. But oh, my 100th was in the cities. Yeah, <laughs> all my big moments yeah. happen in Wausau, apparently. Huh. How about that? Number 200, I'll have to go back to Wausau. Yeah, I'll have to go back to Wausau. I don't know that they've opened on another one. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully they will by the time you get to 200. <laughs> I'm not even close. I, I just got over 100 this year. That's pretty cool. Good for me. Yeah. Yeah? So, you didn't stress your arm any, did you? No. No, I'm That's pretty good. flexible. Okay. Uh, anyways, yeah. So those are our beers. Uh, don't don't forget our about our bus trip. Um, yeah. It's sure. actually, we'll actually be celebrating my birthday that weekend, too. Ooh. Wayne so. will be turning 36, folks. Yes. Yeah. yeah. You don't get a day over 35. Well, thank you very much. <laughs> uh, I mean, I should be I in- feel about 46. <laughs> I can honestly tell you, I don't think there's going to be a ton of pastry stouts on that trip. The, Ger- uh, the Germans, the Belgians. No. You're, you won't see any of that. You will find high ABV beers, though. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Ladonia won't, and you won't find anything at uh, Finnegan's. Finnegan's. Makes, Finnegan's does make some out of out of. I'm one of my favorite beers at Finnegan's back in the day was their beer de Blanc. You know, it was a beer yeah. with the the champagne yeast in it. So they have a few kind of experimental stuff, but I don't mean they're otherwise Finnegan's. I want to remind everybody about Finnegan's too. They just moved into a new place, mm-hmm. uh, a bigger place. So within the last what year or so, um, very nice. Oh well, yeah, yeah, it's crazy nice. And uh, Boom Island is, is going to be, you, you probably don't want to get a flight. Uh, I think the flights usually come in like 10s and 12s or whatever it is. I'm going to get a flight. And yeah, Troy will get a flight. Uh, <laughs> Udapil is very sessionable, German style yeah. beers. Um, I think it's worth just, just, I love, and this is a, a personal thing that I'm weirdly into, but yeah. I love the different, the contrast between German and Belgian uh, beer philosophy. German's all about engineering. Making huge volumes of beer, drinking yeah. huge volumes, consistency, you know, sessionability. And Belgian is not, you know, they're small quantities. Every beer is its own, you know, a lot of barrel aging, a lot of souring, a lot of just that beer will. Very, very different things. I, you know, yeah. There's places in Belgium that won't serve you a third glass of beer because you won't be able to appreciate it. You know, a lot of. A lot of unique glassware for every beer. Also and, true. You won't be able to appreciate it. <laughs> you know, high, you have three glasses of Belgian ABV. beer. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you, know, you go to England and Ireland, and all these guys are like, oh, they drink all day. I'm like, yeah, but they're drinking like 3.5%. Right, right. You go to Belgium, they're, they drink at the end of the day because yeah. that's 13%, son. I, I looked at I looked at <laughs> Boom Island, and granted, the, the tap list will change between now and April 13th. Uh, by the way, it's April 13th, and you'll find that out if you look at the information. Um the the list will change, but I, I think the lowest ABV beer that uh, Boom Island had on was somewhere around six, maybe six <laughs> and a half. So yeah, bring your drinking pants, folks. That's right. Anyway, so that's that's all we have for this week. Um, check all the information out below, and and we'll see you next week right here. Prost. Hey everybody, thanks for watching. If you like what you saw, you can click down below where there's some more episodes for you to watch. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe on episodes that you do watch. We hope to see you next time.